Brian from American Tactical Defense here in Brea, California. We are here at our shoot house and our training center. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple videos with you. I really want you to learn what the importance of lighting is. So let's just say somebody breaks in your home at two in the morning and you hear a disturbance. First thing we wanna do is go investigate, see what it is, right? Who's in our house, what's going on? So a lot of folks will bring out a phone light. Takes a little bit of time here, getting it up under stress, trying to get it going, that's not working and I finally get it on, even if you're quicker. I come out of the room, I shine it down the hallway, I can maybe see one or two feet in front of me, folks. That's not gonna do the trick in your house, right? So there's a, there's a lot of disadvantage to that. Also in the video, you will see as our person, our homeowner tries to shine it down the stairway, he can't even see the suspect down there and the suspect has a gun in his hand. Very dangerous. These don't really do the trick too well. Now, a mag light here, nice and bright will shine all the way through your house you'll be able to identify who it is in the video you're going to see the extreme difference of what what's going on what's going on is that this will distract the suspect that has a gun in his hand you're already seeing it has a gun in his hand and at that point from his perspective all i see is bright light i can't see anything past that is that homeowner armed he doesn't want to go there the danger is there he doesn't want to die today so He's thinking, I want to live, I want to go, so he's out of there, he leaves the house. Hopefully, right? But he doesn't know whether the homeowner has a gun or not. That's a big difference. That's the difference between a cell phone and a mag light.